Hello guys and welcome to next video. Today I am sharing with you my way of growing patty pan squash in small containers, all the way from germinating seeds to harvesting some squash. So let's start by germinating seeds. I germinate most of my seeds in wet paper towel moist by mixed water with hydrogen peroxide. If you don't know about this method, I will put a link in the description. If you're interested, check it out. In just 4 days, the seeds have germinated and it's time to put them into containers. I'm using 10 liter size ones, but for bigger plants, you should go for at least 15 to 20 liter size containers. I'm just curious about the result in the smaller ones. Squash plants are heavy feeders and when grown in containers, they require nutritious soil mix and also fertilizing. I'm using compost mixed with potting soil, handful of sand and some crushed eggshells. If you want to have even lighter soil, you can also add perlite. But keep in mind, the lighter the soil in container, the faster it goes dry. And that means you will have to water it more frequently. Place the squash plants on a sunny location. Summer squash grows best and sets the most fruit in full sun, but they can handle part shade locations as well. When it comes to watering, keep the plants well watered, especially when flowering and producing fruit. If they experience too much drought, these plants may drop flowers and also fruits. Summer squash grows best at temperatures from 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. The plants may slow down their production in the hottest summer days, coming back strong in early fall. Eight weeks after germinating the seeds, I'm harvesting the first squash. It's not much, but in this small container, the plant can't grow more than one squash at a time. This one plant was able to produce four fully grown pieces this season, which is not any high amount. But if you like the pad plant squash, this is a proof that you can grow them even in small containers on your balcony. I did a mistake by not mulching them, and I think that mistake is the reason for less productive plants. I hope you've enjoyed the video, if so, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more plant related content. Thanks for watching, see you soon!